Hey there again. Um, so I also found at the overpriced beer store I went to, um, Pilot Rock Porter um, by Caldera Brewing, Brewing, um, up in Ashland, Oregon. And um, oh, it's a robust porter. Oh, I'm glad that they said that on the side. I was just wondering um, what the difference between a brown, a robust, and a Baltic was, but here we're about to find out. I think I've had a couple before, but. Anyway, so a robust porter, which is BJCP category um, uh, 12B, and let's see here. Um, let's just look at, oh, 6% alcohol by volume. So the range for this particular category is 4.8 to 6.5. Um, IBUs between 25 and 50. Um, so I am excited to give this a shot. This particular six pack um, was. $9.99, um, which really is my upper threshold for a six pack, generally speaking, unless I'm looking for something really special. Um, although I did admit in my last video that I bought a $14.99 six pack. So let's see how this goes. Um, I've actually had um, only one of these, and I really wanted to um, go through the the style guide um, to find out how it fared because um, I had a, I had an opinion of it um, that I wanted to compare against the style. And um, so let's jump in and give this a shot. Okay, I'm kind of surprised how much head this poured with. Um, so that's it, my first interesting assessment. Um, aroma. Oh, yeah, definitely a, a burnt, um, a burnt coffee, um, black maltiness. Um, that's pretty predominantly what I'm getting out of this. Um, it does have a little bit of sweetness in the aroma. Um, not too bad though. Um, so appearance wise, um, it's definitely a nice dark brown. Um, it doesn't have as much red in it, uh, a little bit of red, uh, if I put it right uh, up to the light. So uh, it did pour even in this tiny little glass um, with a, uh, a decent amount of head um, that it looks like it's going to retain for a little while. Um, so full tan colored head with moderately good head retention. So that would be what we're expecting. Um, so let, let's, uh, taste this. And I hope you can hear the video. I didn't even think about the fact that I just started, a um, the dishwasher. Sorry. So, this beer has... Um, a lot of um, deep toasty um, kind of burnt character to it, um, which is, and it's pretty strong. I mean, that's the predominant flavor, um, which I think is a little bit different than what I usually expect from a porter. And maybe that's because I was, I was drinking, um, what is this, brown porters, um, as opposed to um, robust porters. So, um, Brown porter tends to be uh, more in English style, while the robust might uh, tend to be um, more Americanized. Um, and definitely between the two styles, what's listed as the um, commercial examples go from English to American styles, but um, mostly. Um, but it has a lot of um, burnt roastiness to it, um, but in a kind of complex and sweet way. It has the finish. Now, the aftertaste is, um, is sweet, like brown sugar, almost sweet, um, but very enjoyable. Definitely a very pronounced, um, almost um, sharp flavor, uh, which I think is very interesting. Um, mouthfeel, it's a um, medium 
on the upper side of medium um, feel, um, but very enjoyable, and it's not overly carbonated. Um, I don't get any uh, alcohol um, warming out of it uh, at 6%, maybe if it were a little bit higher, but I, I don't generally expect to feel alcohol warming at 6.5, which is the upper threshold um, for this particular style. Um, so the history of this style is that it's a stronger, hoppier, or a roastier version of a porter designed either as a historical throwback or an American interpretation of the style. Traditional versions will have some more subtle hop characters, often English, while modern versions may be considerably more aggressive. Both types are equally valid. Um, I find, um, I don't think that this has like a, a terribly English um, feel to it, so my assumption is that it was made with uh, American hops um, and American um, yeast, um, but not in a way that is like overly aggressive. Um, overly Americanized, I guess. Um, I think they've done a good job keeping this um, in the porter style. Um, so it says, uh, although it's a rather broad uh, style open to brewer interpretation, it may just be distinguished from a stout as lacking the strong roasted barley character. It differs, differs from a brown porter in that the black patent or roasted grain character is usually present and can be stronger in alcohol. Um, roast intensity and malt flavors can be very significant. It may or may not have a strong hop character and may or may not have strong um, fermentation byproducts. Thus, may seem to have an American, American, or an English characteristic. Um, so, um, I think that that's a very, um, very good way to describe it because it's, it's distinctly different than other porters that I've tried, but very drinkable and according as I read through this to style. Um, so Anchor Porter is in this category, Sierra Nevada, Deschutes, Black, um, Black Butte, um, Boulevard Bully, Rogue Mocha, Avery New World Porter, um, Great Lakes Edmund, Fitzgerald Porter, Meantime London Porter, um, so it kind of decides, uh, it kind of depends on what brewery you're, um, getting this from that is going, to how, um, how it's going to taste, um, but just for reference, the standard brown porter, um, which tends to be more of an, uh, an English style, which includes St. Peter's Old Style Porter um, and London's, um, or excuse me, Fuller's London Porter and Samuel Smith's Caddy Porter is 4 to 5.4% alcohol, so it tends to have a little bit uh, lower alcohol um, range. So that's also where you're going to get some change in flavor. But very well done um, out of Ashland, Oregon. I like the very tip top of the can up here says, which it's hard to get the camera to focus on, it says, go, um, go biking, go rafting, go flying, go skiing, go fishing, go snowboarding, um, and so get out and go do something, um, I like that, um, on their cans, so, uh, Ashland, um, great brewery, great job, um, wait, no, Caldera, excuse me, Caldera Brewing in Ashland, great, uh, great beer, um, very drinkable, and um, definitely qualifies for my craft beer in a can playlist. Um, if you've had a chance to uh, uh, get your hands on this, tell me where you found it, and then I'm also interested what your price tag was um, and um, what your opinion was of it. So thank you so much for watching, and have a good night.